The Musée de Cluny, Musée National du Moyen Age, formerly the Musée National du Moyen Age, or just the Musée de Cluny (French pronunciation: Mise de Cluny, or the Musée National du Moyen Age, Thermes et Hotel de Cluny, National Museum of the Middle Ages, Cluny Thermal Baths and Mansion), is a museum in Paris, France. It is located in the 5th arrondissement at 6 place Paul Painlevé, south of the Boulevard Saint Germain, between the Boulevard Saint Michel and the Rue Saint Jacques. Among the principal holdings of the museum are the six The Lady and the Unicorn La Dame à la Licorne tapestries. The Hotel de Cluny The structure is perhaps the most outstanding example still extant of civic architecture in medieval Paris. It was formerly the town house hotel of the abbots of Cluny, started in 1334. The structure was rebuilt by Jacques d'Amboise, abbot in commendum of Cluny 1485–1510, it combines Gothic and Renaissance elements. In 1843, it was made into a public museum, to hold relics of France's Gothic past preserved in the building by Alexandre du Summerard. Though it no longer possesses anything originally connected with the Abbey of Cluny, the hotel was at first part of a larger Cluniac complex that also included a building no longer standing for a religious college in the Place de la Sorbonne, just south of the present-day Hotel de Cluny along Boulevard Saint-Michel. Although originally intended for the use of the Cluny abbots, the residence was taken over by Jacques d'Amboise, Bishop of Clermont and Abbot of Jumiges, and rebuilt to its present form in the period of 1485–1500. Occupants of the house over the years have included Mary Tudor, the sister of Henry VIII of England. She resided here in 1515 after the death of her husband Louis XII, whose successor, Francis I, kept her under surveillance, particularly to see if she was pregnant. 17th century occupants included several papal nuncios, including Mazarin. In the 18th century, the tower of the Hotel de Cluny was used as an observatory by the astronomer Charles Messier, who, in 1771, published his observations in the landmark Messier catalogue. In 1789, the hotel was confiscated by the state, and for the next three decades served several functions. At one point, it was owned by a physician who used the magnificent flamboyant chapel on the first floor as a dissection room. In 1833, Alexandre du Summerard bought the Hotel de Cluny and installed his large collection of medieval and Renaissance objects. Upon his death in 1842, the collection was purchased by the state. The building was opened as a museum in 1843, with Summerard's son serving as its first curator. The present day gardens, opened in 1971, include a Fort de la Licorne", inspired by the tapestries. The Hotel de Cluny is partially constructed on the remnants of the 3rd century Gallo-Roman baths known as the Thermes de Cluny, famous in their own right, and which may be visited. In fact, the museum itself actually consists of two buildings, the Frigidarium cooling room", where the vestiges of the Thermes de Cluny are, and the Hotel de Cluny itself, which houses its impressive collections. The museum The Musée de Cluny houses a variety of important medieval artifacts, in particular its tapestry collection, which includes the 15th-century tapestry cycle La Dame à la Licorne. Other notable works stored there include early medieval sculptures from the 7th and 8th centuries, and works of gold, ivory, antique furnishings, stained glass, and illuminated manuscripts. Gallery Hotel de Cluny Collections References in literature Herman Melville visited Paris in 1849, and the Hotel de Cluny evidently fired his imagination. The structure figures prominently in Chapter 41 of Moby Dick, when Ishmael, probing Ahab's darker, deeper motives, invokes the building as a symbol of man's noble but buried psyche. 
In G. K. Chesterton's The Man Who Was Thursday, the narrator states Chapter 13 that the wealthy Dr. Renard's rooms were like the Musée de Cluny. See also List of museums in Paris <laughs> Notes <laughs>